And turning right now to your Fox election headquarters with the race tightening, President Obama and Mitt Romney prepare for the last presidential debate that happens tonight in Florida. And of course, for the very latest, Doug Luzader has this story from Washington. Oh, this time around, they won't be standing at podiums. They won't be stalking one another on stage, as we saw in the last debate. Tonight, they'll be sitting at the same table. The debate is supposed to be about foreign policy, but just about anything could come up. And without further ado, we welcome President Obama and Governor Romney. It's just a rehearsal, and these are just stand-ins. But this final debate has it all on the line. President Obama has been out of sight preparing at Camp David. He heads to Florida later this morning. Mitt Romney is already there. He emerged briefly from his preps to toss the coin at a beach football game between his staff and the media. Figure out which of their players is best and take them out early. But the tone tonight could be somewhat more subdued than that, especially compared to last week's debate, although the president may try to question Romney's readiness on the world stage. People want to know that they have a strong, steady hand in the Oval Office, and they don't want someone who's reckless and who's been consistently wrong on foreign policy issues as Governor Romney has. Romney may try again to hit the president on the U.S. consulate attack in Libya. And with a new report over the weekend about possible talks between the U.S. and Iran over its nuclear program, he will likely question the president's support of Israel. And part of the failure that this president has had is his failure to outline broad goals, real goals, a real view of what America's role in the world should be. And this, as poll after poll shows the race is tightening. We've seen Romney move out to that uh, to the uh, 5145 seven-day average that we talk about, and that's what we're showing among our likely voters nationally, registered voters. It's it's much closer to being even. And here is the national picture. This is the real clear politics average of polls in each of the states. The red and reddish states are Romney states. The blue and bluish states are Obama states. The grays are toss-ups. Now, for the first time, perhaps we're seeing Mitt Romney move ahead in the electoral college count, but still. 131 toss-ups. In Washington, Doug Luzader, Fox News. All right, Doug, thank you. Well, we'll have a complete wrap-up of tonight's debate here on Fox 26. It will begin at 6 o'clock, uh, and we'll have more on it tonight starting at 10. And this morning, officials are investigating what caused a rental to go up in flames, sending people running from their homes. Now, shortly after 7 last night, firefighters arrived to a rental fire on Stevens Place. Now it's an apartment complex located on Stevens Road in East Medford. I came outside and there was just like flames, like you could see it on the other side, so I thought like it was coming through the house. Well, officials say the flames reached as high as 15 feet above the rental through the window. Well, they also say that the bulk of the fire was contained to a single unit. We are told that no one was injured, and this morning the cause of the fire is still being investigated. 